Aloha, Hawaii. My name is Richard Capone. I'm the CEO of Let's Go Learn. And today I'm going to talk to you about Let's Go Learn and our data-driven personalized learning product called LGL Edge. So what's interesting about this product is uh, three things I want to cover. First, it's really amazing because it targets the right level. The difficulty with students when they're in secondary is that uh, they have a lot of gaps that built out over the years. And, and you don't really have diagnostic happening at the secondary level. Really, teachers are teaching content. They're trying to teach uh, uh, freshman math or they're trying to teach eighth grade math, whatever it may be. And so you have to target the right level. You don't want the lessons to be too hard or too easy and you need exactly where the student needs it. The way we do this is we use a diagnostic model initially to find the zone of proximal development for the student within each of the areas of math. So we don't just settle for a broad score like a numbers and operations score and then start creating lessons. No, you have to say specifically where are they at within decimal operations, where are they at in fraction operations, and that's what we do. So that's the first reason why we have a very amazing uh, personalized learning product. The second thing is effective teaching methodologies. So in secondary, it's very hard to implement because a lot of times you don't have intervention. Everything has to be done in the regular classroom. So you need an automated tutor, and that's what we have, or you need a program that the teacher can direct intervention or lessons to support the classroom lesson. The other thing is our, uh, all of our lessons are also very animated. They have music. And for students of Hawaii, they love music. Yeah. You don't want to have a boring program that you're just listening to, putting you to sleep. You need something that you can really um, learn the concept. And let me show you a lesson. Yes, it's finally time for some statistics. We can calculate statistics from the numbers in the data set, like the mean, median, and mode. Mean, median, and mode. Mean, median, and mode. How do you find the mean? Add up the numbers in the data set. Divide the total by the number of items. The answer is the mean or average. Mean, median, and mode. But how do you find the median? Arrange the number. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here. I, I don't have time for you to watch the whole lesson. But, but every lesson in about five to seven or eight minutes, it either uses a song and or animation to teach a concept like this. And then once you, you learn, the student learns the concept, it then goes into a gaming phase where they have to earn some points. And let me show you that to you. What is the mean of this set? That's it! What is the median? Now I'm going to go ahead and get an incorrect answer. No! To compute the median, put the numbers in order and select the middle number. So when I get an incorrect answer, it explicitly shows me what I did wrong, corrects it, and then lets me move on, hit continue. Notice now my points, I didn't get points for that last question, and my accuracy is down to 50%. And so the last piece that we do is we allow for retention and reinforcement. All right, so what happens is the students have to get 100 points. If they don't get enough points, um, then they have to redo the lesson. Or if they get less than 95%, they may have either a bronze or silver Badge. So let me show this to you. So here's a student. They had all these custom lessons assigned to them, but they have a bronze here and a silver. So during review period, they go back and redo those lessons. Or they can continue down their personalized path and work on patterns next. But this allows students to really engage. And now the last thing I want to talk about for secondary students too is to also print out the personalized uh, report for every student so that they can actually see, ah, I don't understand how to divide fractions. Oh, I don't understand coordinate graphing, um, you know, a slope of a line or y-intercept. So the other piece is to bring students into the process by providing them with a report. And so the students see exactly what they need to do. And then they also get to work here and they get to be engaged in their own learning. So three reasons why EDGE is so effective. One, it targets a student's CPD, zone of proximal development. Two, we use effective teaching methodologies. We have songs, which resonate so much with the students of Hawaii, right? And then also teachers can assign lessons. They can, uh, it could be fully automatic, or they could also use it in a whiteboard setting where the whole 
teacher can use a lesson to teach everyone in a group setting. And the last thing is, is retention and engagement. So students are able to um, repeat a lesson if they need to, redo a lesson, see where they're at, um, and really, really drill down and make sure that they understand the concept effectively. All right, thank you very much.